Hey everyone, welcome back to the InfoStreet channel. In today's video, we are going to explore how to create a product in context of SAP API management. We will see how this product appears on the SAP API Business Hub Enterprise portal and we will be using the GW Sample Basic API that we have created in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out for a better understanding of the API creation process. Okay, so let's start by understanding what a product is in SAP API management. So a product is essentially a package that bundles one or more APIs and can include usage plans, quotas and policies that control access. So these products are useful when you want to group APIs for a specific business needs or when you want to provide controlled access to your APIs for developers. Let's take an example. So if you have multiple APIs that cater to different aspects of a sales process, you can package them into a single product called Sales API. This makes managing access and monitoring usage much simpler and efficient. So in the simple sense, what we can say that the uh, products are basically the artifacts. And these artifacts are available in SAP API Business Hub Enterprise Portal. So now let's just talk about this API Business Hub Enterprise Portal. So this is the central hub where you can publish, discover and consume APIs within your organization. It acts as a marketplace for APIs and products, allowing internal developers and partners to find the APIs they need quickly. Okay, so when you open the API Business Hub Enterprise Portal, these products are available or you can say the products are displayed as styles. And the API used under a product corresponds to the API proxy URL of the corresponding API. So in a simple sense, what we can say that the business enterprise portal helps streamline API consumption, fosters collaboration and ensures that all the API consumers have access to the right resources in a well-documented, secured environment. Okay, now let me just show you how you can access the business hub enterprise portal. So you need to go to the integration suite and you need to click here. So as you can see, we don't have any products yet but we will create in this video. Okay, so one thing I need to mention it here that you need to have these two rules assigned to your user to access the SAP API Business Hub Enterprise Portal. Okay, I've already assigned these two rules to my user. So let me just show you. So as you can see, we have these two rules here. I've already assigned to my user ID. Okay, so now let's just create our first product. So as you can see on my screen, you need to go to the Engage tab and here just click on Create. So here you need to mention the name and the title of the product. So one thing you need to keep in mind that the name and the title should be same. So the title is the heading of the title that you will see in the API Business Hub Enterprise Portal. And the description is also displayed on the tiles and is intended to give the user the most important information about the API. You can also enter the short text if you want for the description purpose. So once everything is done, you need to navigate to the APIs tab. Now here you need to add the API proxy that you have created. Let me just select the GW sample basic and we will click on OK. So the next thing that we are going to do is to publish our product. Okay, now we will navigate to the API Business Hub Enterprise Portal. So as you can see here, we have our product, which is displayed in the form of tile. Just click on it. Okay, now we will navigate to the APIs and we will click on GW Sample Basic. Click on API References. So here you will find the Swagger UI for calling the assigned resources. Now let me just select one of the resources here. Let's say I'll select the product set. Let me just choose this one. We will click on try it out. Okay, now we will click on execute. 
And that's how you create a product in SAP API management and make it available on the SAP API Business Hub Enterprise Portal. So this approach not only helps you organize your APIs, but also provides a controlled and secure way for internal teams to consume these APIs. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from InfoStreet channel. And if you haven't watched our previous video on creating the GW Sample Basic API, be sure to check that out for a deeper understanding of today's topic. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.